You need more self-confidence. You should really work on your self-confidence. It will help. How many times have you heard something along those lines, but nobody actually helps? Those people are right in saying that self-confidence is important. And in my opinion, it's the most important trait. But you still need to learn the steps how to properly boost it, right? You are already making the right steps by coming across and clicking on this video. You want to improve. Even if you aren't sure, you do have the power within you to change and improve your confidence. I used to have very low self-confidence, but using the tips that I'm sharing with you in this video, I was able to grow into confidence and I'm sure you will as well. These aren't some difficult, unobtainable pieces of advice. These are realistic and applicable to your life. Anyways, many believe that you need to improve physically and you will automatically be more confident. Wrong. Confidence is much deeper than that. A subconscious level. Improving is not easy. And maybe you aren't convinced to dive right in and put in the work to improve your confidence. Well, let me convince you. Low self-confidence might be the only wall or barrier stopping you from achieving success, wealth, prosperity, or whatever other goals you have in your life. Low self-confidence will stop you from taking those necessary risks for you to achieve your goals. Who wants to be stopped from achieving their goals, especially from themselves? Not you, I'm sure. Before we get into how to actually improve it, let's first define what self-confidence even is. Self-confidence, a noun, defined as faith, according to the Beast Training Dictionary. It, in truth, is a faith in yourself. A faith that you are who you are supposed to be and you are happy or okay with that. Like I mentioned, self-confidence is not just physical, but we will get there. Also, I'm not saying don't work to improve physically or mentally. Rather, this faith or mindset puts you in the correct mindset to improve further. Being confident is nothing more than a mindset. This faith allows you to make your own decisions because you want to without the fear of what others think. Self-confidence is not about fighting this fear. It's about not having it at all. Self-confidence is independence, knowing that you can make it through whatever obstacle is in your way. Being a leader relies on this faith as well. People are not going to stand behind someone that isn't even sure about their own actions. Finally, being true to yourself and having this faith in yourself is going to help with your romantic interests. I get it. It might be the only reason you want to improve. I get it. And those are just a few of the benefits that could help you be successful, prosper, or whatever your purpose is. Enough of the benefits. Let's begin with the actual realistic ways that you can boost your self-confidence. Starting with the gym. I believe that the gym alone can dramatically boost your self-worth. Of course, the gym will cause you to look good and then feel good. Physicality is important, yes, but it is not everything. And the gym's purpose is much deeper than just the physical level. Some days, it is very difficult to get up and drive your ass to the gym. But these are the most important days. When you fight through that feeling, fight against your feelings using sheer discipline and willpower, you prove to yourself that you are mentally capable and strong. It's what you do when you really don't want to that matters. The gym is also full of people that you want to be like. Just being around people with confidence will rub off on you huh? and you will naturally become more confident. Almost all gym rats started out with low confidence and grew. When I say that if you are 18 years or older, you need to be hitting the gym, I need it. You will reap the benefits of the gym in just as soon as a few weeks. If you don't already go to the gym frequently, start doing it, even if you don't care to be muscular, built, or whatever. Another good piece of advice to go along with the gym, but you can apply it to all aspects of your life, is don't be too hard on yourself. I know. It is very easy to overthink, overanalyze, and be self-conscious. Even the most confident people in the world fall victim to this mentality. 
but it is important to realize and nail into your brain that the people around you aren't that worried about you or don't think that much about you. Not in the sense that they don't care about you, just in the sense that they aren't worried about that breakout of acne on the side of your face or that your hair is slightly messier today. That isn't you. You aren't defined by your physical traits. You are defined by the way you treat people, the way you act, the way you carry yourself. No need to ruin your own mental health over something as unimportant as physical traits. Physical traits lead to self-consciousness because it's easy. It doesn't take much brain power to look. It doesn't take much thought when you look at yourself in the mirror. Also, not caring what other people think about your appearance is an important step into not caring what people think at all. The next important step to raise your confidence is acting as if you are confident. Fake it until you make it, kind of. Acting as if you are confident will not only lead to you tricking your brain into thinking that you are confident, but others around you will also start treating you as if you are confident and that will cause a snowball effect. There are three simple ways that you can start. Stand up straight, talk louder, maintain eye contact. Standing up straight is easy. It just takes a little bit of extra brain power to catch yourself slouching. It's amazing how you will feel if you just start standing up straight. You will feel as if you are in control and you will feel more powerful within yourself. That being said, talking louder is daunting, I know. But I'm not saying start screaming wherever you go. You just have to enunciate. Put power behind your words. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Stand behind your words. Finally, the scariest of the three, eye contact. Eye contact is the most important part to showing others your confidence. Next time you're in a conversation, put some real brain power and extra focus into just looking at the person talking. All three of these actions will show others that you are confident, even if you may truly not be just yet. What does going to the gym, not being hard on yourself, and faking it until you make it all have in common? All three train your subconscious. It trains your subconscious into pushing through difficult things, looking past the physicality of yourself and others, and act like you are confident. Your subconscious is the most powerful part of you. It will take control of you even if you don't realize. Train your subconscious and you will see that your confidence will improve dramatically. As a recap, confidence is faith. Confidence is that wall that is stopping you from achieving your goals or taking the leaps to achieve your goals. Start going to the gym. Stop looking at the physicality of yourself. Stand up straighter, talk louder, and maintain eye contact. These simple actions will train your subconscious and in turn, you will become naturally confident. Have a true faith in yourself and develop the most important trait, confidence. Enjoy the fitness motivational content. Click the button right here to subscribe to the Beast Training channel and click this button right here for the video that YouTube thinks is the best for you. Embrace chaos and release your beast.